Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, what's good? If you are new, hey boo, I'm back with another video, okay? So, how y'all doing this morning, okay? Early birds checking in, checking in early birds, okay? So, I'm back with another message, okay? Because I'm finna give y'all the rest of my testimony from um, the last video I had did. So, I brought a couple of props with me to show y'all how real God is, okay? You believe in God? Keep believing in Him. Keep believing in Him, trusting Him, have faith in Him, and He is gonna see you through all your situations. Hopefully, you guys are feeling better from the last video that I made. Hopefully, you are not feeling depressed anymore. Okay? I know I came on there looking crazy, looking a mess. Okay, I had, I had, to, I had to get myself together, y'all, because look, I said, if I'm gonna be giving a message, let me at least present myself a little bit. I'm not finna keep on walking around here looking like um, Wanda from Holiday Hard, okay? I ain't finna be looking like somebody crackhead, ain't to you, nothing like that, okay? I ain't finna be coming to y'all like that. But it, it was early in the morning, it was four o'clock, and so I was at home. You know, when you, you know when you're in the comfort of your own home, you don't really care how you look. You know, it was like four. It was like six o'clock in the morning, so I ain't feel the need to really get up and do my hair, my makeup, and stuff. You know, at least I showered and everything like that. But still, you know. I do want to make this point before I do get into the video that um, people try to make it seem like it's not all about appearances. Um, when literally, it, it kind of is, you know, in a way. I'm not, I'm not trying to sound superficial or nothing like that, but literally, when you want to show up in the world and you want to make an impression on people, it, it is all about your um, appearance. And when I say appearance, I mean your presentation, how you present yourself to people, okay? Still, hopefully that the last message that I left for y'all, hopefully it helped you in some way. And I hopefully I turned some non-believers into some believers. But I'm finna, I'm finna get real. I don't know how long this story finna run me. I'm probably finna be talking for a long time, y'all. So whatever you got going on, make sure you, um, if you're on your break at work or lunch or something like that, take some time to stop and listen to my message, okay? Um, So basically... I want to come on here with a testimony, okay? So, I got a, I got a story time behind that Bible that I had showed y'all in the last video, okay? I left it on the um the uh, ch the chapter in a verse from last time, okay? And I put my picture in there. I, I'm going to just show y'all a little baby picture of me, okay? That's me as a baby, okay? Around Christmas time. And so, I put that little picture in there as a reminder of um how long God has been in my life. Since I was that little girl. God has been heavily in my life, okay? So, this Bible right here, I'm, I'm going to get up close on it, okay? You see it say Holy Bible, but you see the Bible is kind of like torn and stuff. It's kind of worn. Um, this Bible is like really special to me, okay? And I'm going to tell y'all why. Y'all see my name is on here, right? It say Holy Bible. And if you, and if you pay close attention to it, um, if y'all hear any background noises, just ignore that. You know, I'm out here enjoying nature, looking at nature and stuff and talking to y'all. So let me just make a disclaimer. Hopefully the noises don't bother y'all, okay? But let's get back to God. So basically they say Holy Bible. But if you get close up on it, it says illustrated, especially for children of color, okay? I remember I got this like so many years ago. This Bible has been with me for a long time, y'all. And I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to give y'all a testimony behind this. And um, y'all see how worn this Bible is, right? <laughs> I got this Bible when I was a child, okay? I used to attend Sunday school every Sunday. And and I used to uh, I used to be a part of a uh, True Believers Christian Academy, okay? It's a church and a school connected to each other. I went to private school in my younger years, okay? So as you can see, it says Keona Burton, okay? Now, my last name is Devane, okay? Well, my grandmother adopted me. My last name changed to Devan. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of explain to y'all my um, YouTube name, simply Devan. Okay, and the meaning behind it before I get into this um, deep message. So the reason why my name is simply Devan is because my grandmother's. I don't want to. I don't want to lose the uh, chapter in the verse. Okay, y'all. So my grandmother's name was uh, Florence Devan. Okay. So when she adopted me, my name became Keona Devan. Okay, so literally my last name is Devan because I see it's a lot of people. Um, they got Devan behind their name, and you know the 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 Devan ones, um, the Devan spoken one, Devan words, Devan messages, all this in there. Like literally, my last name is Devan, y'all. Like, and I feel like it's a strong meaning behind that. Like my last name ain't Devan for no reason. Okay, remember that. Okay, so basically, when I went through that spiritual attack. This was like 
way back around the time of you know last year like that fall going into that winter was when i had that spiritual attack y'all and so literally i was laying in bed and i was just going through a lot y'all matter of fact this was around the time that i had ended up catching covid okay and so literally like i was feeling like i, I was feeling like i was about to die yeah like i wouldn't be here talking to y'all I was feeling like I was feeling like death. I looked it like death. Like I literally, and then I had a family member of mine that had passed away from COVID as well. She was extremely close to me, and I hate that I I had forgot her picture at home, y'all. I was gonna bring her little picture or whatever and show her to y'all. But um, I had wanted to show a picture of her because you know she was always a firm believer in God as well. Like she she was the one. She was another person that strengthen my relationship with God as well because after my mother and my grandmother passed away she kind of took me in and she kind of stepped into that mother role so she has always been an important um person to my life you know until she passed away I kind of took that kind of heart and so when I had when I had called COVID like literally when I say I feel like I was finna die out like I was so sick and I thought about her a lot you know um literally like she she would be the one that i was always talk to when it came to god and stuff like that and she'll pray for me and all of that stuff and so i was i was laying in the bed just going through it and so when i said i'm, I'm gonna go back to the part where i said i was leaning in, i was laying in darkness you know my room was pitch black y'all like i literally felt the presence of the devil and i needed my bible as my spiritual protection okay so um this bible i'm, I'm gonna give y'all the deep, the deep message behind this bible okay so i opened my bible in the pitch black of my room y'all and i just lay i just opened it i didn't say let me open it to this verse or that verse i just opened it and put my hand on it because i felt like that was the only thing that could protect me and so so god said to me it's a message on this page that i want you to see and so i took my phone out y'all matter of fact i'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how real god is during this time this is how i know i was going through a series of um spiritual attacks the devil was trying to attack me around this time I was having a lot of troubles, like car troubles. Um, I had from this this was like right around the time, like shortly after I had started my channel, you know. I had wanted to put out a message about this um this testimony right here. My phone. Something had happened to where my phone had got weather damage. So my phone was completely destroyed. I had to get a whole new phone and everything. And I couldn't even put out no messages for y'all. And so that literally had me like under attack. Like I, I felt I felt so defeated, y'all. And so when I was sitting there, you know, in the uh, darkness of my room and I had my hand on the Bible, the Lord said, it's a message on there that I want you to see. And so I took the, f the flashlight from my um, tablet because I was using a tablet at this time while my phone was getting repaired. And I had flashed the light on the Bible so I can see. The one, the one verse that had jumped out at me was Psalms, the 68th chapter, and it's, it was the first verse, okay, y'all? And so the first verse said, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him, okay? That was the message that jumped out at me, okay? Yes. And I kept reading it, you know? It, it was another um it was another verse on here that i had i'm trying to admit y'all yeah, this happened so long ago but i gotta find this verse because it's an uh, um, important part of this testimony y'all yeah. it's the smoke is driven away so drive them away is wax melts before the fat fire so let the wicked perish at the presence of god okay so basically that verse to me meant that i was under a spiritual attack okay literally i felt like the devil was present in that moment okay and god spoke to me through that verse to let me know that he has a rise you know and his enemies can flee before him okay because god seemed that i was under attack from the devil okay so he came to protect me so when he's when i i literally heard a voice said because i was in the pitch black i didn't like i'm telling y'all i did not think to open my bible and say oh let me go read this certain chapter so i can get a message no the message was literally right there for me to see okay that verse had and it was a couple of other verses that had stood out to me as well that i felt like was a, a great message in that moment but i can't i can't think of them right now y'all like man like i'm feeling like i got brain fog but literally i tried to put out a testimony about this about this um bible last year okay and and I kept trying to upload it. When I when I told when I told y'all my phone had uh, weather damage, it literally had it, my phone was destroyed.
devil's putting up all type of blockages to stop me from putting out messages to you okay I, I use my tablet to try to record this video like I, I kid you not y'all at least like 20 times I tried to upload this video testifying about this Bible and it would not let me it was like the devil did not want me to put out my message I felt like I've made a more powerful message way back then you know but literally this Bible I'm, I'm gonna get back into this Bible y'all the strong story behind this Bible y'all the last video I told you I grew up in a church I went to church a lot this Bible been following me throughout my entire life, you know? I live in Wisconsin now. I went to church in Chicago. I used to leave this, this very Bible all over the church. I, all um sitting on the um the, sitting on the seat. I would leave it. Um my grandmother had me involved in all different types of uh, activities in church. And so I always had to bring my Bible. I had to go to Bible study, Sunday school, choir rehearsal. I was in the choir. I was a part of young women's auxiliary. She had me involved in every single thing. Okay, so this Bible had to always be with me, but I somehow I would always leave it at church. And my church family will always give it back to me. I didn't have so many people give me this Bible. This Bible has been in so many people's hands, okay? So many people have gave me gave me this Bible back, okay? Let me tell you how this Bible is in my possession right now. I have had moved to Chicago. I had moved from Chicago to Madison years ago, like eight years ago, yeah. I had came back to Chicago to visit, you know? I had ran into a church member when I had came to visit one particular time. And they had been inbox inboxing me on Facebook a lot because I'm Facebook friends with a lot of people, um, my church family and all of that. So they had told me, they was like, I got your Bible. You know, they talking about this one. And I was like, really? They was like, yeah. Um, and I had ended up linking up with that person. They had gave me my Bible. Um, I think I had, they had told me that they had, matter of fact, they had told me they had my Bible. Then when I had went to visit Chicago, I had so happened to run into this person somewhere. And they, they, had, they so happened to have my Bible, yeah, like literally. I'm so lucky that I still got this today. Like literally, this Bible couldn't have this Bible been following me throughout my entire life. That's how that's how I know that God is real. How would I still have this Bible after all these years? How? I told y'all I had this Bible since I was a shorty, okay? I went to church in Chicago. This Bible was came from Chicago. I live in Wisconsin now. How is it that I still have this Bible? I'm telling you, y'all, I know God, God is real. This is the perfect example of how God says. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you wherever you go, okay? So it was a reason why this Bible got back into my possession, okay? This this was meant to be in my life forever. I will never get rid of this Bible ever again, okay? But yeah, y'all, like, literally. Y'all see my little cheating hand right now? But yeah, y'all, the Lord is real. Like, literally, he is real. Um, They got the little pictures in here and everything. I remember we used to, uh, I used to sing in the choir and it was this one particular song that kind of applied to this message that I'm giving out. It was a song called, um, as I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I got a testimony, like literally a testimony, y'all, a testimony. Man, them songs that we used to sing back in the day. If you ever been in the choir, you already know how that is. Like literally, every song hit different. And when you a kid and you singing that type of stuff, you don't really, you don't really understand the meaning behind that song. But as you get older and you kind of, and you kind of reminisce all those moments when you was in church, all them songs, them met all them songs had so many powerful messages about God in them that applied to your life. The problems and the trials and tribulations that you go through, all of that stuff, y'all. Man. Literally, I'm sitting out here right now looking at nature and it's just like, man, life is beautiful. Life is precious. Um, I have lost so many people in my life to where I have learned how to appreciate life more because I know that you are not, we are not promised tomorrow. I have a better appreciation for life. Like I be having a lot of, I just like to come out and look at nature a lot, you know? I used to take a lot of walks with my mother as well. Like my mother, was a firm believer in God. She believed in God too. That, that was another um that was another reason why I had um you know such a strong belief in him. My mother like literally man I'm just like man y'all it was some other things that I kinda wanted to talk about in this video. Um when I come when I come to make messages about God 
I literally be sitting up wondering, like, oh, I'm a small um, YouTuber just starting out. You know, I'm still learning this thing day by day. But I do be thinking sometimes, like, what type of videos should I be making for my followers? Like, if I make videos about God, are they really going to want to hear that? Are they, are they, are they going to support me? Are they going to tune in and watch my videos? Or are they going to hear about... You know, because I, I be seeing a lot of influences. This this not to downplay nobody. You know, everybody got their own talent, what they do. But it's just like a lot of influences. They just be talking about a whole bunch of mess. They be messy. Um, they just, I don't know. Like, and it seemed like just from what I've observed, it seemed like people love drama. You know, they love hearing about your problems and stuff like that. It seemed like the 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 things that get the most views is stuff that's drama related um and i'm just sitting up here thinking like how am i gonna be of influence to everybody out here when everybody seems like they just like drama and chaos i told y'all i'm not i'm not a drama person that that type of stuff people may look at probably if they if y'all was to meet me in real life y'all probably be saying stuff like she bored she lame like she don't really get you know too much really going on but I don't, I don't be going to no clubs and none of that stuff like that's that type of stuff ain't never that ain't never been my scene even when i was in my younger 20s i had always been lame you know quiet just staying to myself you know i told you i had my few friends and stuff like that but like i said it, it, it just always seemed like um when i had those friends you know um want to fit in um just just being around bad influences and stuff like that and i'm, I'm gonna give y'all two testimony i'm gonna give y'all some story time y'all already know it just seemed like when I was around certain people, I was just I would just always fall back into um being worldly, just doing what everybody else do. Um and I always paid the price. That is another reason why I'm a loner, y'all, because I have always um noticed that whenever I'm around a group of people or I'm just, you know, socialized and just um trying to have a good time, some bad always happen. It's always that somebody that's trying to make you try drugs, um, just anything. You can't just just enjoy the moment you know people don't know how to enjoy the moment without it involving some type of drugs or sex or just anything you know i always felt like me being a loner like this um not really being around too many people has protected me throughout my life um whenever i'm telling you whenever i have been around a lot of people like friends and stuff like that some day it always happened like i remember this one particular time um and it's a now let me just say this um before i get into the story time i make story times okay so so keep that in mind for the people that love story times i'm not gonna put story time in all of my titles that's why you gotta watch all my videos and listen because the story times are in the testimonies the story times are in the video so i'm not gonna title it story time just listen to it okay <laughs> 